Hello, welcome back to Let's Play For Glory. Um, we've failed twice now to take down the final boss. Last time we didn't even beat his first form. This time though, we have all of the best things from every category of equipment. So, this is the best chance we're going to get, basically. Hopefully we have someone with an inspiring name to give us a bit of a morale boost. If we don't do it this time, I'm probably not going to bother having another go, because I've been recording this now for an hour and a quarter. It'll be an hour and a half by the time we reach the boss, probably. Um, in one sitting, because you can't save your progress in this game. So I think I only have one more slog through all these enemies left in me before I fall asleep, because it's now um, getting close to midnight. So, let's do this. Who do we have? Someone who looks like a complete berk. Leonard Bowett. Oh, God. I don't fancy our chances with Leonard Bowett. Alright. So, we have the best armour, we have the best hat, and we have the best sword, which should be much better than all the other swords. Um, plus an item that allows us to use it without it draining our health, because it's just that powerful. Um, but also, that item should give us a chance to occasionally inflict double damage. Not that that will matter all that much on the routine enemies. Fuck you! Not that it should matter all that much on the routine enemies, because most of them go down in one hit anyway. But if we're really, really lucky, and we will have to be extremely lucky, knowing this game's definition of the word occasional, um, it might inflict double damage on the boss, assuming we get there. And frankly, with all the knolls that stand between us and that point, it's not entirely a safe assumption that we actually will get there. I mean, our last character, Warwick, barely made it to the boss with just a sliver of health left. Um, and I think it's all about the name. Only inspiringly named heroes do well. Hence, Hammer Jackman did well, but Warwick didn't. Or was it Warwick Pelty or something? Leonard Bowett isn't as bad as Warwick was, name-wise, but it's still not particularly inspiring. Alright. Still dealing with basic gnolls. At least we've got to the upgraded orcs stage, so that's something. Um, because it is going to be a long slog. It seemed to take forever the last time. Okay, let's take him out. Knew we were going to take a hit there. Um, we haven't reached the enemy launcher stage, so we're still actually pretty early on. I know we're getting into the mid-game when we reach the enemy launcher. And then I know we're coming into the late game when we go back to the straightforward rock launcher. Alright. More slimes. I can't believe a slime hit us there. I can't even remember the last time I was hit by a slime that I noticed. No, mage, no. Take down the brute. They're a pain when they grab you. Um, they don't seem to do much to you most of the time. But if you're unlucky, they can grab you and sort of throttle you. Fuck! I can't even... I couldn't even move. I was hammering the dodge button and I was just pinned. That would have been a very irritating way to go out. And that would definitely have made me stop playing. Uh, okay. Alright, now we've got to the mid-game. The enemy launcher is here. So that's our next milestone, I think. First milestone is the first ballista. Second milestone is um, the enemy launcher. Third milestone is back to the rock launcher. And then I suppose the final milestone is actually reaching the boss. Okay, let's take these guys down. The Lister seems to be going down in two hits. Was it three hits? But in any case, it's quick. And at this point, after playing this game continuously for almost an hour and a half, quick is what I want. 
Um, I'm running out of stamina for slogging my way through all these mundane cannon fodder enemies. Or, um, windshield enemies, as they're sometimes known in roguelike circles. Not that this is a roguelike, it's just a term I quite like. In the sense that they, they're enemies that don't challenge you, but just splatter on your windscreen like bugs when you're driving. Um... Because yes, that uh, that is known as a windscreen, not a windshield in the UK. Screen is just slightly more elegant somehow. Windshield sounds like the wind is trying to attack you. Whereas uh, windscreen sounds a little more reserved, I think. Anyway, don't like the warlocks, but I found that it's, uh, the key seems to be dodging up and down. Like, they will only attack you if they're on the same, what is it, latitude as you? This direction. Anyway. Enemy launcher. Fuck you! We must be getting close to the beyond the enemy launcher stage. The little known fourth Mad Max film. Mad Max beyond the enemy launcher. Yeah, I know that joke wasn't even worth making, and I didn't expect anyone to laugh. Hell, usually only I laugh at my jokes, and this time, I didn't laugh. So, oh, piss off. Alright. Come on. Take out the brute. We must be getting close to being past the enemy launcher. Okay. Yes, that's a rock launcher. When did that start? I didn't even notice. I suppose I was thinking too much about my feeble Mad Max reference. Alright, so we are getting into the late game here. We should be. Knolls are still a problem, of course. But we should be close. Yes! Yes, here we go, final boss. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. It was only, what, eight minutes or something? Okay, here we go. Cheese him! But no. Oh, fuck off! Okay, did quite a lot of damage there. It might actually be worth just going toe to toe like this. Huh, seems like the key to beating the final boss is just slugging it out with the best equipment. Okay. Next boss. I don't think we get another health refill. And he's harder. Yeah. He's harder than the previous one. Okay, we did at least land a hit, so that's something. Right, let's do this. Ah, it seems like he applies the same principle as those warlocks. He can't hit you if you're not on the same uh, latitude as him. I think latitude is the word I'm looking for there. I think we scored a double damage hit. So that's nice. Come on. Yes. Almost there. Come on. Yeah! Have we got another form? No! We did it! We actually did it! And Steven Spielberg comes to congratulate us. Ah, oh, For glory indeed. No, I, I jest. I know these are probably the, um, the developers here. Nice hat. And we salute them with twirls of our sword each time. Wow, I can't believe we actually finished Full Glory. Well, it's actually not a bad game. Slanty, slightly anticlimactic ending. But, um, although it's very flawed, it has, for the most part, been a reasonably fun game. This has been For Glory on Xbox Live Indie Games. For 18 Microsoft points, if it interests you. I was prompted to play this by the release of Rogue Legacy, and that carrying your achievements from one generation to the next thing reminded me of this for glory. Thanks for accompanying me on this journey to the destruction of the ultimate evil, the boss of the orcs. Um, and I will see you the next time round as I upload more game-related videos. Thanks for watching as always, and goodbye for now.